Kyle Filipowski is the wildest story of the NBA draft. Crazier than Bronny James getting drafted by the Lakers to play with his dad. But Kyle Filipowski has reportedly, important to say reportedly, been groomed by an older woman to join the Mormon religion and basically abandon his family in the process, which includes his parents and his siblings as well. So I wanted to break this down on the channel because I was kind of surprised that not many YouTube videos have covered this story, which I think is insane. So I did find a good article here that breaks down like the timeline and a bunch of the information all in one place here. And I'll have timestamps down here so you could jump around and hear different parts of the story. But essentially what went down was Kyle Filipowski really should have been a top 20 pick, which is how they open up this article. It's definitely because this was a weak NBA draft class and he averaged 16 points, eight rebounds at Duke, has good size, can shoot a jumper, basically an ideal stretch four, possibly even a stretch five in the NBA. You know, he went to the Utah Jazz, kind of reminds me of Laurie Markkinen, probably less athletic than Laurie Markkinen, but I think it's kind of a similar player as that. So pretty crazy that he wasn't a top 20 pick. There were some mock drafts having him in the top 20, but then I did also see some where he was like a late pick in the 20s. And he did show up in the green room for round one, but obviously was taken in round two, 32nd overall, but basically showed up to the draft and just didn't get drafted. And I'm guessing he didn't show up on day two, like in the ESPN studio. I know some players did that, but let's get into the story here of why he slid basically to round two. So the concerns over an older girlfriend, which is not like a crazy thing to have an older girlfriend for me, because there's plenty of examples of NBA players. I mean, Malik Beasley and Scottie Pippen Jr. Both were dating Larsa Pippen, who's like 40 something years old, and they're in their 20s. Regardless of that, we did get Jonathan Givoni making a statement on this. I believe he even said this on the draft broadcast saying that on ESPN that he had questions about his girlfriend being so much older and why we see he was estranged from his family because of this situation. Very odd situation. And then he said, I personally don't understand why it would cause him to drop like this in the draft. I mean, if a team was going to take him in the 20s and then you hear that he's basically abandoned his parents and siblings, not talking to them, has an older girlfriend who reportedly is like grooming him into a religion, which is definitely a more controversial religion than most others. I'll just leave it at that. I think that would be a definite red flag if you're going to take him with a first round pick. And then it says that Kaylin Hutchinson is also being referred to his girlfriend, but they are engaged as of April 18th and going to get married in August. So so also some other controversial kind of reporting here is Filipowski is 20 years old and Gavoni said his fiance is 25. I heard that she's a lot older, like 28 years old. So we'll get into that a little more here. So then they break down a little bit about Kaylin Hutchinson, reportedly his fiance. Not a ton of information they broke down here, but they did find this photo of her graduating from high school in 2015, which would put her at the age of 27 or 28 or maybe even older now. But then they say, yeah, it's not really a red flag. A 20-year-old dating someone in their late 20s isn't that crazy. But the crazy thing is they have been dating since he was in high school. And that is when he was 17 years old, actually. And she was probably 25 years old then. And it does say at the time of this photo that he was 17 years old. And they say their relationship even started when he was 16 and she was likely 24 or 25 which is pretty insane. I don't know when he basically started, you know, leaving his family. Like, was that in college? We don't have very much information of if he wasn't talking to or visiting his parents at all, like when he was in college, or if that just started this past year, or just in the past few months. So we don't really know about that. And then the most controversial information on this is reportedly the Filipowski family weighing in on Twitter. So this guy, Daniel Filipowski, is his brother, apparently. He said he was trying to track down Jonathan Givoni, who actually reported on this. Is it Givoni or Givoni? I, I always forget. He basically said, I'm Kyle's older brother. You don't have a clue the extent of this story with his girlfriend. It's been pushed on the table for two years now. So I guess this basically started 
two years ago where he kind of like has broken off from his family, but they've been dating for like four years now. It seems like since when he was 16 and whoever this guy is, is trying to get information out of it. And then he said he tried to contact Gavoni and apparently he was able to. And then another controversial statement is he said that people involved are the Duke coaching staff and his agent. So pretty wild. And then his brother said, look up and read on Mormon grooming and brainwashing. And you'll find some introductory details in there to connect some dots to the story that's going on. Essentially what I believe Mormon grooming is, is when, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. is when someone tries to groom someone into the Mormon religion and in the process of that basically gets the person to like abandon all their values and current family and situation to join the Mormon religion. I mean, I just watched the first episode of that TikTok show that I forget what it was called, but essentially TikTok dancers got groomed into this cult of a church where the guy running the church, the priest was like taking all their money and telling them not to talk to their family. And then even when they do kind of talk to their family, they're like super weird. So definitely reminded me of that too, which is why I think I'm interested in this story just from watching that. And then we got Becky Filipowski, his mom chiming in here who said she's 28 years old with the end game three years ago to have a ring on her hand when Kyle left Duke and he was still in high school when she planned this whole thing. And at the time in high school, Kyle Filipowski was like supposed to be like a top 10 pick one and done, I believe. Her plan didn't go exactly to plan because he would already be making more money in the NBA. Now we finally got in a later pick. I'm sure second round picks get less money than if he was picked just a couple picks before in the first round. So I wanted to look up if his parents is actually named Becky and his brother actually Daniel. So I went on the Duke page for him and scrolled all the way to the bottom. You can see that son of Rebecca Becky Filipowski. And then you say he has three brothers. One of them is Daniel. But obviously anyone can make a Twitter account and name themselves whatever they want. So doesn't really prove much there. And essentially they are claiming that this woman, Caitlin Hutchinson, began a relationship with him as a high school with the intent of grooming him and converting him into the Mormon religion. I mean, I don't think that was really her goal. I think it was more that she wanted to get him into the Mormon religion, which I don't think has to be Mormon religion, just any religion where you kind of get someone to go all in on that and her and basically, like like they say here, to uh, cause friction with the family and get Kyle to choose his relationship and his new religion over his family, basically. So she can basically get rich off of him is basically what I think would be happening if any of this is true like again we don't know if it's true so yeah basically what we're seeing here is an adult entered a relationship with a underage high school basketball player who was supposed to be like a one and done nba player and a top draft pick it's hard to put it in words but basically to leave his family and just fully commit to her which is insane and i can't believe jonathan guvoni said i don't see why this would be a red flag like he had the details how is that not a red flag at all And then the absolute kicker is that he got drafted to the Utah Jazz, where obviously Utah is the largest Mormon state by far. But I mean, at this point, I don't think anything illegal is really going on here. Filipowski is just not communicating with his family and joining a religion with an older woman. Definitely not illegal, but I guess back in the day it was when he was in high school and underage. And then they say at the very end, Filipowski will get asked about it by the NBA media at some point. So I'm really curious to hear what his answers is to that. And getting drafted by Utah, you know, people are probably more okay with this in Utah in the media. So they probably won't, you know, have as many questions about it. But if he becomes like a really popular and good player, He's definitely going to get questions about this and especially about his family, like why he basically abandoned his family. So insane story. I was trying to find YouTube videos on it of people covering anything about it just to get more information. But this article I found is probably the best. So I'll link it down below. I just thought it was a crazy story. So uh, subscribe to the channel. NBA drama is insane. All this stuff that happens. You know, I thought this was much crazier than the Bronny story, which if we scroll back up, 
obviously, if you look on the side, most read articles, you got Bronny, number one, I don't know what number two is, number three, Bronny, number four, Bronny. So obviously that's a popular story, but I thought that this was more interesting because, you know, we've been hearing about that forever. This was like breaking news and a crazy story around the draft. So pretty insane. You know, I think talent wise, he should have been a top 20 pick, went 32, which isn't that absurd. There was guys falling like Dalton Connect was supposed to be top 10, top eight, went 17. Insane story. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. I'll see another one.